Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Spitting Venom. And here we are with the full Square Enix E3 2019 press conference. Luckily, you know, uh, GameSpot and GameSpot trailers and all these places were able to put these up online on their channels on YouTube so that I can react to them because I couldn't do these live because I've been working all weekend and today. It's been like six days in a, in a row for me for work and I am just so beat, man. And I got to go in for a couple hours tomorrow morning before I come home, change, walk my dog, and then head off to E3 and try to catch a few hours of E3 before it ends tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it's going to be... It's gonna be a lot and then i got my two days off from work i'm spending at e3 recording videos making stuff and checking out games so i'll be working non-stop you know for the the days i'm off from work and then i go back to work for like seven days so when i came home i decided you know i was like i have to do two press conferences i have to do ubisoft and square enix but i actually went and looked a little bit at the some of the news and what people thought of the ubisoft presentation and there was no games that i saw talked about that I felt like I would have had a big reaction out of. So I decided not to do the Ubisoft uh, press conference reaction. So tonight I'm just covering the Square Enix panel. So uh, as I always say, without further ado, let's start it up and check out what we get. Um, I already did look at, you know, uh, before I recorded this, the Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer, um, but I heard we're gonna get more information here. They made it available to pre-order. It is a full $60 game, uh, which is crazy to me. Um, and we're only gonna get like half the game. I guess they're gonna split it into two games and they're gonna charge us 60 bucks for each half. Um, I mean, granted, that was a long game when it came out on the PS1 and apparently they added a lot to these new versions, but... Uh, oh, here we go, look at that already. That's cool, it had the options and it said like, uh, you know, new game, continue or remake. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I think that's what it says. Unfortunately, the camera wasn't focused in on the screen, so I couldn't really tell. Oh man, it's gonna be so fun to like kind of return to this world, I feel like. I I'm very excited about that. And Aerith, oh my goodness, Aerith. Man, the, the visuals on this, amazing. Just so amazing already. This is kind of the footage we saw before. Uh, I think this was our first teaser we got a while back. So this is the opening of the game right here. Like we're seeing the first few minutes of the game. Assuming they don't add like a new intro to it, you know. Boom! Here we go. Cloud. Sweet. Please welcome Yoshinori Kitase. Oh, I was gonna say, are they done or oh they're actually gonna do like a presentation it looks like. Look at everybody standing, like everybody's just like standing and watching and recording. <laughs> Alright. I was going to say the audio is, I'm like, what's wrong with the audio? It's not being live fed through the camera. Okay, now it is. I'm very happy to be able to introduce this long beloved title once again. After 22 years, the familiar character. 22 years? Good God, I am getting old. <laughs> I was uh, in high school, I think like a sophomore or something, or maybe, maybe a freshman. I, maybe I was a freshman. No, I was a sophomore, I think, when I played this game, when it came out. Yeah. That's crazy. To our longtime fans, we thank you for your support and patience over these years, and we look forward to embarking on this journey together. This is uh, this is cool. Yeah, look at everybody's just standing. They're just like, are you gonna show us more? Like, this is great. You're you're you sold us, man. We're, we're ready for the game. <laughs> um, and now we know it's coming out March third of twenty twenty. So that's great. And I did see there's multiple editions of the game. There's like the standard edition for sixty bucks. There's the um, deluxe edition for like eighty bucks, which comes with some summons, I think, and. Uh, a couple other like things in a steel book, you know, just kind of unnecessary stuff in my mind. And then the um, there's like a three hundred and thirty dollar version that comes with a like a play arts uh, or something, you know, like like cloud and motorcycle like toy action figure thing that's like a foot tall or something. And I'm just like, no, not a. Not interested. Midgar, yeah, Mid Midgar City. It has become a solid standalone game in its own right. 
Oh. So they turned the Midgar City stuff into its own game. That's what I heard. So, um, so yeah, apparently all this information came from this press conference, and I was like, all right, I'm going to go read some of that before I do, you know, cover this. Through the content we are about to unveil today, and through all that we have yet to unveil, hmm. it will not disappoint your expectations. Yeah, so the reason I'm not going to spend $300 for the toy and stuff, because it's like, well, that's $300 for essentially half the story <laughs> you know it's like ah, i can't bring myself to do it it's a cool toy but i can't bring myself to do it so i'll probably just get like the regular edition of the game play the original we present to you a completely new final fantasy and a perfect starting point to explore the world of final fantasy 7. please welcome neil pabone senior manager product marketing square enix all right neil what you got for us do people have beers there? That's awesome. That's kind of chill. So, Neil is here to introduce you and walk you through gameplay. Oh, gameplay. Hey. Let's <laughs> mosey. Nice. Let's mosey. Here we go, right at the start of the game. There's Barrett up there. There's a swing of Cloud's Buster Sword. Cloud attacks, dodges, and blocks all in real time. His standard attacks do some damage, but they barely scratch the surface of Cloud's true potential. Succeeding on the battlefield requires much more than just hacking and slashing. Oh, good. Cloud needs to be tactical. He needs A T B. Oh. Two A T B bars are displayed in the lower okay. right. These fill up slowly over time, but fill much faster as Cloud lands standard attacks. Okay. Once an ATV bar is full, huh. you can enter a tactical mode, where time slows to a crawl, and you have the opportunity to choose actions from the com command menu. Katasi-san, I've had the pleasure of seeing quite a bit of the game, but tactical mode never gets old for me. I could just sit here all day long and watch this beautiful slow motion action. Hmm. So it's like bullet time. I mean, there's been a couple games that have done stuff like this. Um, it's a cool feature. I think um, the audience would um, like to see more. Isn't that right, everyone? Yeah, man, show us more if you can. <laughs> I learned to like don't. I learned to not have high expectations when it comes to stuff like this. So I'm glad that they're just like feeding us stuff. It's nice. Oh. Using an item in battle will deplete an ATB charge, and if Cloud has the right material oh, yeah. and enough MP, nice. he can use ATB charges to cast spells. Nice, course, there's fire. This being a remake, we're sure to see some familiar faces. Nice. With the use of his iconic gun arm, Baron is able to target enemies at a distance. Whoa. Standard attacks generate ATB charges so That's pretty cool. So there's tactical reasons to switch characters. Different. That's neat. That actually adds to the gameplay. Like, yeah, I was hoping it wasn't like Kingdom Hearts where you, like I like Kingdom Hearts for what it is, but maybe because it's cartoony, I accept the, the bashing, you know, buttons and just mashing and mashing and mashing. Um, so I accept it more. But something like this, I yeah, I would like it to be a little bit more sophisticated. So that's cool. Continue to fight even when you're not controlling them directly, but it's up to you Cure. to choose how and nice. when ATB charges are used. You can maximize your effectiveness by switching Boom. between characters Whoa. or issuing commands to characters with full ATB bars. Well, so you can switch, but whoa! Every enemy has a focus gauge that fills up as you do damage. See, so when your ATB charges up, you can like slow time down to freeze them and then do an attack and then have your other character do an attack like that's awesome to enjoy battle while taking the time to think strategically for players who prefer fast-paced action abilities and spells can be bound to shortcuts for immediate execution oh good okay extremely dynamic but the choice of using them is entirely up to you right katazi-san all right some shortcuts in there That'll be good. Right. The game has been made so that you can choose how to play. I hope players are excited about this. Yeah, this is awesome, actually. to combat in Final Fantasy VII Remake, and we look forward to showing you a whole lot more in the coming months. All right. Let's see how Cloud and Barrett do against a more formidable foe. What? Come on, come on, what is it? What? Oh man, okay. Yeah, the first, kind of the first boss from the uh, original game. That's cool. 
That's cool. I like the di like the dialogue back and forth in, in the battle um, to progress like story and tactics and you know, like alerting you the player like hey here's some weaknesses that these characters have pointed out of the the villain so that way you can come up with your strategy. Oh, there you go. So yeah, he's he's far away. So you gotta switch character. That's cool. Thunder? Thunder! Got the thunder! <laughs> oh, and it's down, man. Get in there. Scorpion Sentinel, look at his life bar. Like, dang. Dude, this is awesome. And then the fight, like, gets cinematic in the fight. Like, that's kind of cool. Yeah, they're definitely bringing a lot to this game. Oh, yeah, dang. He's got some kind of barrier. Come on, man. Get through that barrier, dude. Oh. Dang. There you go. Find the weakness, man. Cut that tail off. <laughs> Dude, look how its life bar is not even dropping that much. Like, holy cow. This thing's tough. This is really cool to watch, though. I mean, like, how long have we been wanting gameplay for stuff? Oh, man. Yeah, and it was like, I think that was the biggest criticism I saw that Microsoft got for their press conference was not enough gameplay. And it's like, hey, man, they're presenting, like, 40 games or something and you know I get it I get the criticism for sure but um, I don't know the, the press conference thing to me is like hey show off you know what you feel is the, a, a good step forward to promote the game and then all this other stuff you can show off during E3 like throwing people on the floor with a demo playing it you know you can release that footage a day or two later um, so again I don't know expectations I saw I see people get so mad at these presentations like like oh that was the worst like even Bethesda like I, I was like eh I just didn't have big reactions to their games that's why my Bethesda video is like so short and just uploaded by the way just as I'm recording this it finally uploaded <laughs> um, but uh, yeah it's like I wasn't mad after I watched it though I wasn't like stewing about Fallout or whatever but I'm also not invested in Fallout so maybe I mean that's probably why this is great though oh man they're finally like gonna kill this thing <laughs> And this isn't in real time. This is like a Final Fantasy 15 boss because I remember my um, roommate before, my current roommate, uh, Kevin, he was like playing Final Fantasy 15 and I watched him fight a boss for like two hours. <laughs> it was insane. And he was like barely in the, he was like, yeah, I'm like a couple hours into the game or maybe he was like maybe 10 hours into the game or something, but he was already like two hours worth fighting a boss. I was like, oh my goodness. Um, as someone who will probably stream this when it comes out, I hope there's not two hour boss fights. Get him, Cloud. Yes. Come on, come on. Ah, finally. Whew. Oh, finisher, huh? Nice. That's awesome. Oh, man, that's awesome. What? It's still not dead. <laughs> Come on, die already. Oh, dang. Oh, jeez. Well, thanks for destroying the reactor for us and, like, half the city now. Oh, man. Yep. <laughs> and then, yeah, after this, you have, like, 20 minutes to, like, escape from here. Um, dang. That's yeah, cool. Um, and yeah, it's the next part of the game after this is you got 20 minutes to get out of here. <laughs> Woo! That's cool, man. That looks fun. Oh. What? what? We got more? This is amazing. I love this. <laughs> is it going to be the whole conference? I'm fine with that.
Thank you for joining us, Nomura-san. Oh, man. It's an absolute honor to have you here. Katase-san, how do you feel working with Nomura-san once again on Final Fantasy VII Remake? はい、あの、彼からですね、原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原作の原
That's awesome. You hear people freaking out. She's definitely a fan favorite. I mean, not, you know, Aerith is too, obviously, for different reasons, but uh, Tifa, big time. She's got a big fan base. Whoa. <laughs> All right, we're going to see her fight. Nice. Her attitude, it was funny, her attitude always reminded me a little bit of Rogue from the X-Men. Um, and then she'll always throw the first punch, you know? I'm like, just like, that's awesome. Like, <laughs> Tifa's like, I'm not messing around here. That's so great. We're getting gameplay of her. That's awesome. Oh, look at this. Oh, beautiful. Showing off some of the levels and stuff. It's looking good. Boom! Oh. Come on. They gotta give us something Sephiroth, right? Like, they gotta give us a little bit. I mean, we already played the music a little bit. Oh! Whoa, they are! Dude. Oh, hold on to that hatred. Oh, God, what a great villain. I love Sephiroth. I love Sephiroth. All right, March 3rd, 2020. And I'm going to get to hopefully play a demo. I'm sure the line there at that booth is going to be unbelievable. All right, pre-order. You get a, a bonus summon. You get the mini soundtrack. You get the deluxe edition with a, an art book and a steel book. And then... Um, Ah, there's the toy. So there you go, first class edition. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it looks cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, I can't spend that amount of money on, on what essentially will be half of a video game. All right, I'm skipping ahead here for a minute. Uh, they just showed off Square Enix Music, which is now going to be available on a lot of different platforms, including Final Fantasy soundtracks. So that's awesome. So now they're on like Spotify and other places and iTunes. So I'm going to look some of that stuff up because I've been wanting to own some of those soundtracks. I have a lot of them on discs. Uh, saved somewhere um, in one of my you know bins in my closet, but I was like, yeah, I, you know, it'd be nice to have the digital version so I could just listen to them in my car. Um, so yeah, uh, so it looks like we got here a uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts video of some kind. I realize just how unnecessary I am. Uh, I am a Kingdom Hearts fan. I, I did love the first two when they came out, and I played the. Um, 365 days or whatever and then the PSP one um, like kind of like the prequel uh, storyline birth by sleep and then I played the um, card based you know Game Boy Advance one um, but I haven't played all of them so I actually own them all now and uh, except for three but I own all the other ones and at some point we'll we'll get to them I mean I just with the amount of lack of time I have right now lack of free time um, I can't get into a lot of video games right now but if I ever get another time um, later this summer, where I have like a week or two off of work, we'll try to binge, you know, through some of them if we can. So Kingdom Hearts 3. Remind. Oh, the DLC. Okay. I had heard this might come out. And it's coming out in the winter. Awesome. Um, cool. From the creators of Gears of War Judgment and Bulletstorm. Okay. People can fly. Ain't that the truth? Hmm. Not actual gameplay footage. Okay. Oh, killer eyes, man. Jeez. Huh. What is this? I'm liking the music, actually. Whoa. What's up with this lady? She looks like she's going to snap, like, at any second. Oh, what is that? What the F? Whoa. What is that thing? 
Outriders, huh? All right. Uh, no gameplay, but uh, that's uh. So is it like a three-player campaign or one-player campaign? It's like it probably plays like Gears of War, coming summer 2020. Okay. Cool. I don't know. Could be good. We'll see. Onanaki, I think that's what it was called. That looked kind of kind of cool. I didn't have a big reaction to it, so I'm you know editing stuff out. To the fans who have been waiting. Okay. What? Final Fantasy VIII. All right. I really, really liked this one, and I love that soundtrack. Arrives remastered for this generation. Holy crap. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy VII, VIII, IX, X, and Tactics are like the five main Final Fantasies I've played and beat multiple times. Um, but uh, Final Fantasy VIII, I actually beat this game more than I beat VII. Um, I think I've only beat VII like maybe a couple times, but uh, VIII I've beaten like maybe seven or eight times. Um, but I really dug this one. I thought it had a great story, and I love this. I have the, the four-disc soundtrack. I bought it at, like, my first anime convention that I went to uh, with my friends in South Carolina. Oh, man, that's awesome. They're pretty much just showing the original trailer. That's so good. I mean, it doesn't look that enhanced, but I'm excited. I mean, I don't care. And it's coming this year all, on all systems. Holy cow. Oh, that's uh, Thank you, Square Enix. Thank you. What's this? Square Enix. Uh, obviously, we're at your... Oh, Avengers! Okay, I was like, that kind of looks like it could be a Quinjet. Crystal Dynamics. And Eidos Montreal. Avengers Day. Whoa. <laughs> hey, that's cool. Yeah, I was going to say, when's it all go wrong? I can't wait. Who are the villains? What? Uh. Whoa! Was that gameplay? Or is that... Uh-oh. Get it! Get it, Hulk! Oh! Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's gameplay, it looks like. Wow! Do you switch between characters? Like... Whoa. Is that a joke? Did Thor make a joke? <laughs> Whoa, they got Pulsar Tech. Dang. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, is that, um, oh man, uh, Taskmaster? Was that Taskmaster? What? Dang! Look at this! It's like navigating through just intense action. I hope it's not like QTEs or anything. I hope it's like actually you can run around and control where you are and jump in. Dang! Down goes Cap. No way. And the Helicarrier? What is happening? Others? All the murderers. And then we those Avengers people. pose a danger to society. That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Well, Whoa! But that's not how the story ends. What? Whoa! Annihilation! Oh, wow. 
Space armor? I'm not Annihilation, I'm sorry. Abomination. Wow! Not a bad trailer, man. Wow. What, are we what was... What was that? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm interested, man. And Cap, Please oh, welcome. Cap. Sean Eskai, Creative Director, Crystal Dynamics, and Bill Roseman, Vice President All right. and Creative Director. Oh, and Bill Roseman's here. Hey, awesome. Follow that guy on Twitter. Seems like a pretty nice guy. I think he's like, works at Marvel Games, like, you know, head up, heads up Marvel Games, something like that. Um, Thank you. <laughs> oh, cool shirt. So five Avengers. So there's no Hawk, uh, Hawkeye. Um, thank you, thank you, everyone. Huh. We are incredibly excited to reveal Marvel's Avengers to the world. Awesome. Yeah, it looked cool. I gotta say, the, the that gameplay footage looked chaotic and, and kind of neat. Crystal Dynamics and Marvel began collaborating on an original Avengers game, one that combined epic action adventure with cinematic storytelling. Mm -hmm. A game where we as players can experience in both single player and co-op oh. what it's like to be Earth's mightiest heroes. That's cool. So you can you can play <gasps> solo or with others? In the house. <clears throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> awesome. Because you will instantly recognize your favorite superheroes and villains, but you'll also see that they're unique to this game, as this is Crystal's hmm. interpretation of these iconic characters. That's kind of cool. I mean, they look kind of movie-ish and act kind of movie-ish, so I don't know how many, how much liberties they were given to create their own version. But outfitted um, with a strange experimental energy source. Hmm. However, the day turns deadly when an attempt to steal this new technology results in massive destruction. And the death of Cap. Named for the tragedy, the Avengers are outlawed, and our heroes disband. Five years later, a horrific evil threatens the world, and our only hope is to reassemble Earth's mightiest heroes. You'll play as your favorite Avengers in an all-new hmm. original story showcasing authentic Marvel heroism and humanity. It's but no cap? losing what matters to you most. You say I can play as my favorite Marvel hero, Avengers. but it looked like he died. <laughs> so... Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So five years later, the Avengers are, haven't been around, and um, and they have to read. They got to get a band back together to stop an evil. Does that mean they get more team members? They start off as five. Cap dies. Then there's four of them, and they're disbanded. But then as they pull back together, do they get other members? Like that'd be cool to find out. You'll lead the team as a legendary super soldier, Captain America. Yeah, dude. You'll call down the lightning as the Asgardian god of thunder, Thor. <laughs> You'll channel what I like about Bill is that he definitely loves his job. <laughs> like, look how, look how into it he is. It's awesome. I mean, that's good to see that kind of passion. I, I, some people are like, oh, it's so cringy. For, but for me, I'm like, eh. It's like... It, it just shows that he loves what he does, finally, man. Finally, you'll blast through the sky as a charismatic Tony Stark. Nice. To the wider world as the armored Iron Man. Nice. I think that was Taskmaster, though, that we might have seen at the beginning. Maybe it was just a random bad guy, but... We've assembled an all-star cast. I'll let them introduce themselves. What? Oh, I wonder. more footage. Awesome. That's good. Good for me. So, here we are. Avengers Assemble. Who are you people again? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Troy Baker, and I play Bruce Banner. Of course, Troy Baker is in it. Shine, and I play Captain America. Troy Baker's in every game. I'm Travis Willingham, and I play Thor. Nice. Hi, I'm Laura Bailey, and I'm playing Black Panther. Hey, Laura Bailey. All right. Hi, I'm Nolan North. Play Tony Stark. Nice. All right. Nolan North's a good Deadpool too, actually. If you've never heard his Deadpool, it's pretty awesome. So we'd like to have you play Tony Stark Iron Man. Yeah. Yes. You know, everybody always portrays him as this super confident character. I think it's a mask 
for, for him. I think he's a, one of the most vulnerable guys. I think Bruce is just such a cool character. A lot of people are, are really quick to, to bring out the big green, but I think that that Bruce is a super complex character. He's fun, and I've never played him before. What is very relatable about <laughs> Natasha is she's extremely capable, but she's at the core, she's human. She's what? surrounded by all of this larger than I life. always love like so my neighbor I don't know if and my current roommate too like they've I acted like before my my, my old neighbor um uh, Erica she does voice acting she's in TV shows and stuff and I love hearing her dissect the character um you know sometimes she'll be like hey you know uh, I gotta pick your brain about you know cheetah or something you know um, and then she ended up uh, you know playing cheetah in the uh, Injustice right 2 the game, and I was like, that's amazing. Like, I had no idea what she did. She was just like, I just know she when she auditions for stuff. But uh, then I didn't know she got the role and that she actually played the character until after the game came out. I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, so, uh, so, but hearing her like find the voice for the character, uh, linger on certain words, like understand why, where the character comes from. Um, I actually like hearing that stuff. I like when someone's so into their job that they have answers to these questions. What do you think about Bruce Banner? Well, I think he's complex, and here's why, you know? So that's it's kind of cool Avengers to get a peek into there. Society. That oh. was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the signs? Did you check? It was a heist, Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. Hmm. The Terrigen reactor was unstable. Terrigen? You knew that, you knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. Terrigen so, myths? Inhumans? didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. No. No, we failed him. We failed him. Whoa. Please welcome wow, man. Scott Amos, head of studio, and Megan Marie, senior wow, director man. and yeah. social media manager. Failed him, failed Cap. Um, so Terrigen, huh? Terrigen mists? They were messing with Terrigen energy? That's the stuff that creates Inhumans. Uh, are they going to play a part in it? Or is this how, like, heroes are going to be born on this world? Are they going to do, like, the, the ultimate shortcut and be like, here's where everyone gets their powers from. One Terrigen Blast. ...of the cinematic and character-driven campaign of Marvel's Avengers. But launch is only the beginning of this Are we going to find out when this game comes out? Marvel's Avengers delivers a narrative over multiple years with exciting new content released at a regular basis. What? Like the Avengers, you and your friends are stronger together. You'll assemble into teams of up to four players online. What? So it's like Destiny with where you Avengers? Can extraordinary abilities, where you can customize a growing roster of heroes. What? And defend the Earth from ever escalating threats. Oh, yeah. yeah, dude, yeah. And to make sure everyone comes on this journey with us, we're incredibly thrilled to announce that every new superhero and every new region will be delivered at no additional cost. No way. No paid DLC. Anytime they come up with new heroes. You're kidding. So our promise to the community is that we won't have random loot boxes or pay-to-win scenarios. I love these people to death. <laughs> what? This game represents a collaboration across Crystal Dynamics. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yes, that's awesome. That I know. All right. Our new Crystal Northwest Studio. Cool. And everyone. A lot of people working on this, so they're gonna maintain. It, so it sounds like Destiny. Just sounds like I mean, maybe without like mission so updates or maybe they will do mission updates but they said new characters and stuff won't dreams. cost anything we have an that's nice demo in our booth that will show you more of the core campaign. oh my god i'm gonna get to play it I, or at least i have an opportunity i don't know the line will probably be through the roof i have a feeling i'm gonna spend an entire day just at the square enix booth trying to play final fantasy 7 and this game will release worldwide on ps4 uh -huh. xbox one uh -huh. stadia yeah and pc uh-huh on which day? And we're excited to be partnering with PlayStation to bring some awesome surprises to the PlayStation audience. Okay. I'm getting it on PlayStation. Including then. early beta access. Awesome. And unique benefits 
that we'll be revealing in the future. Oh, well, I don't know if I should clap to that, but all right, thank you. <laughs> but it's cool. If there's exclusive stuff to PS4, then I will get the PS4 version. Um, yes, win, win, win. Hit us, dude. This is what's next for the Avengers. Thank you, true believers. All right. Are you going to show us? Is it another trailer? Is it more footage? All right. Whoa. I have a plan, but it's risky. You see progress, Hank? Is that Ant Man? What? Is that Ant Man? Nice! <laughs> he made a shrinking gun. It's sort of cute when it's small. Wow. Hank Pym, joining the Avengers. Oh my goodness, four days after my birthday. Oh man, just a nice little bow on it for me. Thank you, Square Enix. Uh, that looks like a lot of fun. And with that, we are done with the Square Enix press conference. They're going to show this little video here, this outro, um, just showing other stuff. That's amazing. I'm so, uh, so that's so awesome. <laughs> uh, I am going to definitely hit the Square Enix booth. I'll probably do a whole episode about their booth in general. I'll probably make a separate episode about uh, Final Fantasy VII. Like, in, if I can get in to play it, I will. I'll try. But I, I kind of want to play this even more. Um, I already saw a lot of gameplay footage from Final Fantasy VII, and it looks great. Uh, but, uh, but I will still try. Like, I'll see how long the lines are and, and what makes sense. But uh, it looks like I might end up spending a whole day at the Square Enix booth just trying to play these two games because I imagine the lines for them will be astronomical. I have no doubt about it. Probably like two, three-hour waits. Um, you know, less if I'm lucky, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm going for a couple hours tomorrow on Tuesday, and usually Tuesday's a slower day, so maybe I can, you know, get a chance to, um, you know, to sneak in and, and like, only stand in a one-hour line and play one of these games and knock one out. Uh, we'll see, but I, I gotta get into it. Like, Final Fantasy VII, and then this, and then, the, you know, re-releasing Final Fantasy VIII. I mean, a lot of cool stuff here. There was some stuff I skipped over. Um, like, I tend to do that on these. Like, I'll, I'll edit out stuff um be, so i you know because it's just like i don't have big reactions to everything just the things i have passion for and uh, and these had some good ones i gotta say this was a really great press conference they showed a lot of gameplay footage for their two main games um not a ton for avengers it was more cutscene and like looked like qtes maybe um i wish they would have showed a little bit more action you know actual gameplay but they're probably gonna save that for you know to have continuous press throughout the week so that way tomorrow they'll have hands-on demos for press and then you know wednesday they'll show it off to people you know and then they'll do a panel um so you'll probably see more of this stuff and more gameplay throughout the week most likely um but they, i thought this was a really well done presentation uh from square enix and that gets me so excited because i love the stuff they make and it's so great that they are still making amazing stuff to this day but i want to hear your thoughts what are your thoughts of all the things that i you know reacted to let me know in the comments below and as always we'll continue our conversation down there it is almost midnight and I am tired and I have a long day tomorrow of work for a couple hours and then running home, changing, getting ready and then heading to E3. So I will try to get these videos done and, and rendered and everything and hopefully posted while I'm at E3 tomorrow. Uh, so that way you guys are seeing all this stuff and you can have something to watch while I'm there recording stuff for the next day. And that's hopefully I'll stay a day ahead of, or, you know, have stuff posted while I'm recording every day. That's my goal is to try to do that for you guys. And I try to be on top of the information as it comes out and bring hopefully unique videos to you uh, you know, from my lens, you know, from me filming uh, at E3 and sharing that with you guys. So hopefully you dig that too. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single thing. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.